Welcome to Real Estate Coaching Radio, starring award-winning real estate coaches and number one international best-selling authors, Tim and Julie Harris. Real Estate Coaching Radio is the nation's number one daily radio show for realtors who demand authentic real-time coaching. Get ready for fluff-free, unfiltered, full-strength honesty about what's truly working to get you into action, helping others, and making money now in today's real estate market. Now to our hosts, Tim and Julie Harris. Three, two, one, and we're back. Julie, it is February the 17th. We have a continuation of the show we started yesterday on your super simple weekly um, social networking agenda, schedule, whatnot. Yes, trying to simplify it, give them some content, give them some ideas to do consistently week in and week out. So you have a theme for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and to take the guesswork out of it. It it really just needs simplified because I see what they post sometimes. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's like, I'm not sure why you spent time on that. And I think that they're pulled a lot of different directions and people trying to sell them stuff and optimize this and that and post for them. You know, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Well, it's the Gary Vanderchuckization of the yes. uh, real estate realms and that agents think they're all supposed to be little media magnets and c- constantly churning out content of them dancing with their beagle on TikTok and then right. doing some sort of informative video over on YouTube and all this other stuff. And just the whole thing is awash with insanity at this point. Well, that's a good way of summarizing I'm, it. But isn't that, that pretty much it? It is. Well, it's just to simplify, you know, it really comes down to your overriding theme being being of service, so providing something of value, and then for the sake of lead generation for you, a call to action. So as long as you lead with those two things, I think you're going to be okay. So I'm about to say something that you're only going to hear on this podcast from my beautiful wife and myself. Ready for it? Here it is. If you want to build a long-term sustaining business in anything, doing anything, you have to be a proactive lead generator first, and then you have to, well, you don't even have to. You have to be a proactive lead generator first. And then if you choose to, you could reinforce it with uh, marketing. And marketing includes social media. But being marketing-based, and you know the traditional way of saying is marketing-based, prospecting enhanced, that will result in you having no profit and not staying in the business for long for all the reasons that we've constantly been saying to you guys for years at this point on this podcast and we talk about in this in our book, Harris Rules. So if you want to have an actual profitable business, a business that you're truly proud of, now a business that haunts you, the key is to have a proactive based or prospecting based business that's marketing enhanced. Do it the other way around. You're never going to have consistency. You're always going to be basically having internal panic attacks about where your next closings are coming from. And you're never going to have really at the end of the day, the consistent the lack of consistency is going to mean you're never going to have much of a net profit because the cure to your problems if you're a marketing person is to just spend more money on marketing It's or drilled on on marketing and spend more time trying to figure out your marketing and marketing, marketing, marketing. And trying this and trying that right. and waiting for results. And have you heard the latest whiz bang idea and are you doing this funnel and that funnel and are you thinking about this clever idea and this why why would you drive yourself insane constantly chasing the shiny object because that's really at the end of the day what that is it's the shiny object syndrome essentially just scaled up and then put in a fancy package so people actually believe it's the formulation or it's a a formula for building a business it's not it's a formula for essentially creating a a pathway to doom frankly the probability of creating uh, any sort of long-term sustainable success from having to constantly buy your business and that's what this always goes back to whether you're going to generate your business or whether you're going to be constantly stuck in a paradigm of buying your business, that's the question all of you have to make. It's the, a very core business building uh, conversation that all of you have to have. And I'm going to share this little bizarre kind of hilarious experience I had yesterday. So I had somebody, Julie's an EXP realtor, and um, uh, our phone numbers are both listed. If somehow they, uh, a uh, person selling, it was... Um, Buyer and seller leads, right? They call us, they call me on my cell phone, and it was an Austin number, so I figured it was maybe one of you guys, and so I answered the phone, which I usually don't do, and um, and then sure enough, it was somebody who was uh, a nice sounding gentleman and said, "Hey, this is you know, I'm looking for Julie. Julie's not available. Um, do you are you in real estate as well? Yes, I am. Well, hi, I have an excessive amount of buyer and seller leads, and I was just wondering if you and Julie are interested in working with any of these buyer leads. Okay, sure, let's hear about it, and then. What it was, was guess what? Another lead generation done for you gimmick. That's all it was. And there are so many of these companies that are out there that there's, it's no wonder why you guys never actually are given the opportunity to learn how to be a proactive lead generator because you think it's normal. And I get it. So incredibly tempting to never actually have to develop a skill set. 
So you got to really kind of wake up to the fact that the prob- the number one reason why you're going to struggle in this business isn't uh, for the lack of opportunity. It's for the lack of the opportunity that you proactively create for yourself. So please do keep that in mind. Julie and I are a and always will be on our business, you know, essentially foundation is this core principle. You have to be proactive lead generation based or prospecting based. And if you choose to be marketing enhanced. So when we talk about social networking, I realize that it's going to be like a math, Maslow, Maslow, a bell ringing in the dog slobbering. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that Maslow? I think so. Yeah, or Pavlov. Pavlov is the dog. Yeah, Pavlov. Maslow is the hierarchy. Yeah, that's right. Pavlov. Okay. <laughs> so I realized that as soon as we start talking about social networking, some of you are going to start mentally salivating because you're going to think it's a, going to be an excuse and we're somehow uh, putting the good housekeeping Easy seal button. of approval on not actually doing what we really want you to do, which is proactively generation. That is not what this is about. What we're doing is we're suggesting that this is an enhancement to what you're already doing. It is not a replacement for what you should be doing. Does that make sense, Julie? It is. So you'll notice on Monday... Monday through Friday, the activities that you're going to be doing are closely related to actual work of real estate, like lead generation, lead follow-up, pre-qualifying, presenting, negotiating, closing, and that what you're posting about is surrounding that. It is in support of that. It is not a standalone spoke, okay? But we know that you're looking for this, and and again, this is in support of your other spokes. Well, before Julie gets to the Monday through Tuesday, well, we're going to finish the schedule actually today. That's the aim here. Uh, Remember, if you've not yet downloaded your real estate treasure map, which is your fill-in-the-blank business plan, some of you guys have texted me about this. I know the treasure map is for sale on Amazon, but don't buy it. How about that? (laughs) How about that for truth in advertising? Don't buy it. Let us give it to you. It's free. Just download it by texting 2021 to 855 685 1045. Download your real estate treasure map now. Simply text uh, 2021. So you have to text the number 2021 to 855 685 1045. When you get the text, click the link, and then you're going to be taken to a, a, a secret page, frankly, on our website where you're going to download not just uh, the real estate treasure map, but all uh, it's like six other books. But the real estate treasure map is your fill in the blank business and life plan. It's what you've been looking for and maybe not even known you've been looking for it. So just te- click the link, download the book, print it out, and then fill it out. And I suggest if you're you have a partner or spouse or whatnot, uh, consider doing this exercise with them, maybe over a glass of wine, because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's a big book, and it's going to ask you all sorts of questions that are designed to be thought provoking, designed to make you guys essentially start uh, formulating goals together. I mean, Julie and I have been married for 30 years this year, and we've always done a rendition of this. This is where this book really came from. Ever since we got married, we set goals together. And that is one of the, frankly, the best ways to have um, a really clear path forward, not just in your business, but in your personal life, where your entire family is pulling in the same direction. So this is your opportunity to set course for not just the rest of this year, for really the rest of your life, because this could be uh, an opportunity for you to form more uh, new habits. So go ahead and text 2021 to 855-685-1045. Yes. So yesterday we touched on your Monday uh, social posting, but I'm going to kind of go over that a little bit and then we'll get into the rest of the week. So again, the idea here is that you have consistency with your posts. We're taking the guesswork out of what should I post today? You know, I've got to go research this and figure it out. No. So Monday is your market update day. What's hot and what's not? You can keep it simple, a simple absorption rate study. We talked about yesterday giving you homework of finding that and not having to create it on your own. Don't over-engineer it. Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. This is done for you by your boards of realtors and sent to you all the time. But the visualization of what this output's going to be is going to be the same thing that you're going to share on all your social media channels, of which you really don't need that many. Um, so if you're going to be, you know, if you have a Facebook page, a Facebook business page, a Twitter page, it, what the best, frankly, what I would do is I would post it on a Facebook business page, most likely, and then cr- send links back from that, uh, from all your other social back to your Facebook business page. You heard me right. I'm suggesting it, depending on where you are in your business, that you don't really need a website. Real estate agent websites, and this was a research study by NAR and by uh, Inman, which was a great article came out last year. And the average real estate website generates a total of absolutely zero leads, uh, buyer seller leads per agents per year. So that tells you that it's not worth doing. The website game has been, or website war has been fought long ago and agents lost and all the big portals won. So let's not even bother trying 
trying to. So the best way to create a website, a business page for yourself is just use a Facebook business page. You should also have a Google business page set up as well. So when you do these reports and these things that Julie's talking about, most of which you can get through an automated output from your MLS and whatnot, and some of you guys have even more elegant uh, softwares that uh, will do this for you. Just take that same report and put uh, publish it everywhere. Don't worry about trying to do it in different formats. If you want to go advanced on this, you could then basically create a little short video using your iPhone or Android device, and then you could post that and tell people. And so the actual post is the video of you talking about the report, and then there's the link underneath the post that's telling you know basically you're directing them. The call to action is to direct them to click the click the link and you know go back to your Google or Facebook. Facebook business page, and then they can download the report. I mean, that is what Julie's talking about, and that's the easiest way for you to accomplish this the quickest. You don't have to do the video, but you really should just consider doing a very mini um, CMA, in essence, on the entire market. Yes, just the facts, really. So things that you know people are interested in, average sale price for your metro area, is it going up or down? Uh, average list to sell price ratio, are things still getting over list? What are the best selling price ranges? What are the best zip codes? And again, don't over engineer this. None of this uh, requires you to be a tech expert in any way. This is all done for you. And you can split up into different posts if you wanted to. Here's your call to action for a specific analysis on your neighborhood and a comparative market analysis to see what your home is worth in today's market. Contact me here, as Tim said, to link uh, back to your uh, business Facebook page. I, I'm going to actually enhance that a little bit, Julie. Yep. The best CDA that you guys can have is going to be one that allows people to contact you somewhat passively. So um, the suggestion I'll have, and you guys hear me do this on the podcast, is tell people to text you. And maybe the maybe the call to action is simply, would you like to know your home's value in this marketplace? Text me with your phone number, and I will text you back a CMA within you know three hours. Or I'll text you back a, a CMA uh, appraisal. You might want to, I mean, be careful using the word appraisal, obviously. Within you know, I don't know. Don't give yourself much time. Thirty minutes, sixty minutes, whatever. So there's a great way for you to pull out very motivated, potentially motivated seller leads. Tuesday, Julie. Yes. Okay, so we are talking about proactive lead generation after all. Okay, so Tuesday, coming soon with your listing going into the MLS following the rules. You have to be careful about coming soon. About to hit the market, be first to see it. That's your call to action. Remember, people are hungry for inventory. So whatever you've got coming up, following your MLS coming soon rules, Tuesday is your coming soon day. If you don't have anything coming, maybe you can use your brokerage listings with your name, of course, attached to that. Um, but that's an inventory play, basically. And if there's no coming soon, if you don't have access to that kind of information, in some markets I know it's like that, then just do whatever the newest listings were. So just do something like that. With a little gonna, disclaimer or something. Yeah, with a little disclaimer, right. You can I, use new construction too. Absolutely. Just do something to keep them in front. Of, and what we're trying to do is overtly make it so that you can have a system in place that basically is, again, overtly letting them know that you're in real estate ready to help. Now, not all of them are going to be have are not going to have an appetite for real estate when you're communicating with them, but that's okay. I mean, that's the fallacy in marketing ultimately, guys, with this whole branding thing. If you're constantly beating on a group of people, say a thousand people, they're not, and you're constantly constantly saying buy, sell real estate, buy, sell real estate. And statistically only what, 10 or 15% of those people per year are going to be interested. And so you have to somehow spin the marketing roulette wheel and hopefully land on red and happen to maybe message them at the exact time that they're thinking about buying or selling real estate. That's the reason that marketing is inconsistent. And remember those same thousand people that you're trying to market to are also being marketed to by at least a thousand other agents. So your probability of actually getting any results from being a passive lead generator just absolutely is trash. That's the reason in a market like this and an economy like this, with their current zeitgeist like it is with regards to all this social media stuff, the smart money is moving back to being a proactive lead generator. Tell me about Wednesday, Julie. Okay, so we're going to nickname that Wanted Wednesday. Wanted, your home for my highly motivated and pre-approved or cash buyers. All of you have tons of buyers right now. Record a video of what your buyers need. Be specific. Don't use their last name, but you can be specific. And then a call to action. Who do you know who's a match for my anxious buyer clients? Well, so Ju we, yeah, it was a coconut that just fell out of a tree, <laughs> okay. hit our roof. It sounded like we Yikes. got bombed. Uh, but Julie, to, yeah. to that point, though, uh, we have on our Premier Coaching website a sample of a flyer. Wanted ad. That's a wanted ad. And some of you guys have made the ad, wanted ad a little bit better that you've taken the idea from us. And some of, the, some of you have made it worse, our coaching clients. But the gist of it is, is it has to be short and succinct. 
Um, I have buyers looking for home, and what, we, what the design was, it was supposed to be like an old out west, if you guys can just uh, you know have a visual of this, the old out west font, and it's supposed to be like one of those old out west posters that started with, when it dead or alive, right? Yeah. You guys leave the dead or alive part out, just yeah. use the wanted font. Exactly, yeah, leave it. <laughs> but the idea is that you're going to say, that's the gist of it, you're going to have fun with it. Um, and then you're going to say, I have buyers. Uh, these are, you know, four buyers that have immediate needs for homes in these areas. You know, just copy the the uh, copy on the actual um, uh, on the actual ad that we created for you guys in the Premier Coaching Program. And then you're going to list the buy like family of Julie and I did this when we sold real estate and it worked great. You know, family of four moving to moving from Atlanta, looking for you know New Albany Country Club area up to eight hundred and fifty thousand. Must have four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, three car garage. Uh, open to any neighborhood, um, you know, flexible closing dates, those types of things. That worked so well when we did that. We've had a lot of coaching clients use this over the it's years. It's a killer idea. Especially in today's market. Well, where, out, this yeah. time of year, Julie, is when this yes. works. This time of year, because Especially. what's happening is there's there's sellers out there that are thinking about putting their houses for sale. Mm -hmm. And if, if you basically are, you remember when we did that one spring in New Albany? Oh, yeah. We yeah, we, 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 we sent out a, we put a flyer, just mm -hmm. like we're describing it, and we mm -hmm. put it into the local paper. Yep. New Albany Weekly or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. was. It was just an insert. It cost mm -hmm. like nothing. nothing. Each of the inserts cost like three cents each. Yep. And it was like four or five buyers that we had that were looking. Mm -hmm. They were all waiting for listings. Yep. And we got, I don't even, I think we, I think we took at least probably six or seven listings yep. from that one insert of that one little cheap flyer. Awesome. And it was all people who were waiting. And they were all waiting and they were all going to put their houses for sale in spring and summer. Mm -hmm. And um, they contacted us and some of our buyers bought their, ended up buying their listings, which we double-ended. Others of them, they just turned into straight up listing leads and that worked as well as you can imagine. Yes. So that's how effective if you're timing your, uh, if you are doing your marketing uh, effectively and if you are active in a community, you could take full advantage of that. Guys, this is the reason real estate truthfully is a painfully simple way to make, you can be, guys, this is not a difficult business is what I'm trying to say. This is an easy business as long as you basically focus on whatever it's going to take to put yourself in front of as many motivated actual have to sell sellers as quick as possible and don't overcomplicate it. That's the mistake a lot of you guys are making. You're thinking this industry and this business is harder than it is because the people trying to sell you these complicated systems are trying to convince you that they're, it's complicated so that then you'll feel obligated to hire them to do this complicated thing, which doesn't have to be done in the first place. Did I yes. say all that right? Yes, absolutely. But that is the truth. It is the truth. So don't overcomplicate it. So Wanted Wednesdays, remember, you may or may not find an actual match for your actual buyer. At the very least, it's going to create listing leads for you. So make sure you don't get confused about that. But it's also going to create, yeah. I mean, I, again, overused yeah. word, but it's also going to show the marketplace that you are being proactive, proactive. looking for buyers. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's listings. a seller that's thinking about putting their house a year from now. Uh -huh. They're going to say, well, damn, that Tim and Julie had their act together trying to really do a good job of yeah. looking for their buyers. Or maybe it's a prospective buyer that wants to move into one of the communities. Well, There's that's right. How many sellers are sitting on the fence right now because they're scared about what they could, could or couldn't buy? And then they see you proactively finding stuff for your buyers. You're more likely to get that relationship. Jules, it's worth just, it's worth drilling mm -hmm. down this just for a microsecond. Mm -hmm. The way to make this work, every, well, I can't say it's true uh, universally anymore, but most communities have these little local newspapers that get strapped to the mailboxes or thrown on the uh, doorsteps. Yeah. They're usually the newspaper that are you know talking about the high school sports scores and what's for lunch at the local elementary school those newspapers most communities still have those things they do those are the newspapers that if assuming they're not already haven't been discovered by your fellow agents are gold, a gold mine for advertising but not in the newspaper in the newspaper is too expensive mm -hmm. do a flyer and so what this local newspaper would do is Julie and I always had our flyers printed in some bright obnoxious neon color no surprise right mm -hmm. subtle <laughs> and then what the newspaper itself would go into a clear bag, but when these kids were stuffing the newspapers into the bags, what they would do is they would wrap the newspaper in our neon flyer, and then the neon flyer would be obviously shown through the clear bag, so that when someone got home, sitting on their doorstep or strapped to their mailbox, would be a Tim and Julie uh, flyer, basically in a bag, that they're going to take in anyway, because they read that newspaper, you see? And this, I think this costs literally... It's like, the, the flyer, it's so cheap. I don't know what it would cost nowadays, but probably maybe a nickel per yeah. house. Yeah. Nothing. And no, you don't have to stuff them in the newspaper yourself. This no. gets done for you and delivered for you. So you're just piggybacking on something that's already happening. Well, they'll print them yeah. for you. They'll insert them for you. They'll deliver them for you. You just Which have to come awesome. up with a creative. And I'll say, you know, the shortcut on that is copy the creative from our wanted ad. Uh, and no, we're not going to give it to you for free. You have to join Premier Coaching. Sorry, Charlie. Thursday, Julie. Yes. Okay. So Thursday, thrilled clients. We're trying to help you remember what to do. Thursday. 
Thursday is all about thrilled clients, client testimonial video. Ideally, this is in front of the listing you just sold with a sold sign, detail about the transaction and what a great job you did for them. The call to action, I'd love for you to be my very next happy client, call me here or text me here. So you can even have, maybe you don't have that every single Thursday, but you can have a collection of 10 or 15 that you're cycling through. And it doesn't have to be on solds. It could be a buyer side. It could be something else that happened, but you're, you're aiming for client testimonials. I'll give you an alternative to that. Now, Julie's idea is obviously better because it's going to, uh, you know, it's, it, you would have sold a house and made money, right? But if you are just getting started or if you don't have momentum right now, the alternative to that is stand in front of something in your local community that you are a raving fan of the grocery store maybe i don't know about the grocery store but you guys get the idea a retailer uh, a, a, a particular attraction shop. right yeah. something where you're going to be basically letting reminding the community that some you know there's this particular little uh you know experience maybe they haven't had yet that is a great idea as well all right jules we're off well, to... and especially if, it, if you can do that for somebody in your center of influence your past client list maybe you've got a past client that owns a bakery or you know runs some kind of shop you know, give back and, and tie all of your pieces together. Well, how about this? Those mm-hmm. flyers that you had the local paper printed in that obnoxious neon color with your buyers <laughs> wanted. Right. If you're going to stand in front of Barney's ba- uh, Bakery and you're uh-huh. going to talk about Barney's Bakery's, think of a baked good that starts with B. I can't think of any. I don't know. Biscuits. Biscuits. There Barney's you know. <laughs> Bakery. You're be holding a Barney's Bakery biscuit in your hand, and you're going to be raving about how. I, okay, I'm out of rhymes. Best biscuits. Best biscuits at, are at Barney's. <laughs> Okay, well, now what's a biscuit flavor that starts with B? Buttery. Oh, there you Buttery go. Buttery biscuits. This is, this is going <laughs> All right, now we're going quickly. to get silly. Okay, but Barney is probably going to be more than happy to let you leave a stack of those neon flyers yeah. inside of Barney's Bakery so that when people are going to Barney's Bakery to get the buttered biscuits, they're going to see the flyer. You guys see how you can do this to benefit the local business owners as well, mm-hmm. especially those who have storefronts. And yes, I am aware that we have this COVID virus and whatever, whatever, but the reality of it is, is that's not going to be around for long. And this is an idea that you can out, you know, actually implement. And this also puts you in a position where you're going to have to go out and get to know the fellow business owners. And those fellow business owners might, you know, actually be wanting to buy and sell real estate. Mm -hmm. One of the gentlemen that Julie and I actually did this exact thing with was a guy named Richard Lewis, was the best travel agent ever. And uh, he was in New Albany, Ohio, and he saved our bacon during our global globe trotting many, many times. But we met him by doing this exact same thing that I just said. And guess what? Richard sold his travel agency, moved to Florida, as people in Ohio generally do. And he just texted us about six months ago and wants to get his real estate license and is talking to us about joining our EXP Realty Group. So if you guys are... Connecting the dots. Right, connecting the dots. So if you guys are interested in joining Julie and I EXP, yes, of course, we'd love to sponsor you. So please do text uh, me directly. I'm writing something down. Mm -hmm. Uh, text me directly at 512-758-0206, 512-758-0206. Just send me a text now if you're looking for a sponsor, 512-758-0206, and you and I will discuss why you probably want to join with Julie and I and be part of our group, which is called Libertas, which is Latin for freedom. And finally, Mrs. Harris, we are on number five. Friday, charity events. You have two choices here, okay? The first one is charity events that you're sponsoring or attending invite them to see you there or donate or participate with you. Buy or sell with me and adopt a pet for free is a great promotion. So you've got lots of different options with that and or open house announcements. Sneak preview, neighbors open, followed by a public open house. Who do you know who would love to buy this house? You can do a little video on it. And again, here's how to find me. So those are some options for Fridays. I know we've got several coaching clients that are promoting uh, charities that they're attached to, and they're using that as an excuse to actually, you know, proactively lead generate by fo- by calling people and inviting them. You see what we, we're tricking you guys with our list of five <laughs> things to do. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the things we're asking you to do are, yes, of course, of service. And yes, we are suggesting you social media, but what we're really trying to do is get you to go out there and actually have real conversations with people while you're doing your social media posts, just sitting in front of your phone and just doing some TikTok dance. Okay. You guys get the point here? What we're trying to do is show you that you can actually integrate being a proactive lead generator along with being somebody who's going to enhance your proactive lead generation with marketing. That's how you really do this. That's the real secret. It's not just to hide underneath your staircase and think you have to somehow be some internet marketing genius creating all your funnels.
journals. The reality of it is, is this is, is and always will be a people helping business. And the way you help people is to get in front of people to help them. If you want to, if you're, some of you guys are so paranoid about real estate agents becoming um, irrelevant, extinct, not necessary anymore to the real estate transaction. I think that is an actual valid thing to be concerned about if you allow yourself to become extinct. If you allow yourself, it's like the chick, the, you know, the old story about, what is it? Um, it's chickens, right? If they're left out in the rain, they'll mm-hmm. look up and drown themselves. Yeah. I mean, versus the chickens that run to the chicken coop and basically keep themselves you from know, drowning. The smart chickens. And I, when I see all these little, uh, these agents all reading all these horrible, scary showing time bought by Zillow. Zillow's oh, taking no. over the world. We're all going to have to join the Zillow Borg and all this other stuff. And all you guys are doing is you're just basically the chickens in the chicken yard looking up being drowned by the water. With The water represents misinformation and things that are really not really relevant. Because real estate agents, and, and this is absolutely positively true, will always be needed. Why? Because buying and selling real estate, no matter how much these technologists want you to believe that they can somehow automate it to the simplistic point of buying something on Amazon. Like, can you imagine buying a house and say, buy it now? There are too many moving parts. There are too much reg- there's too much regulation, too many rules. But really... Really what the issue is, is their, their motions that are attached to buying and selling real estate are it's some of the most stressful things that people will experience. They will always be willing to pay for a caring, competent individual to help them through the process. And that's what you guys are. And that's what you always be, provided that is what you allow yourself to become. If you're somebody who's not going to really invest in the skill set needed to be a proactive lead generator, then you are signing yourself up for extinction. If you're one of these people that's constantly chasing the shiny objects, you are signing yourself up for extinction because all it takes is those shiny objects to stop being so shiny. And then you are, you've never learned to be independent. You're always dependent on whatever the next gimmick idea is and because you've never learned how to be a proactive lead generator. You need to make the decision what kind of business owner you're going to have. You need to make the decision whether or not you're just going to be short-term uh, you know, opportunistic and strategic or whether you're going to basically be long-term and be logistic. That's the question and the conversation you need to be having with yourself. Anything else you'd like to say these guys, Julie? Well, you know, get to work. We had nothing we talked about today is going to cost them hardly any money. Not, this is all free. And practically, I mean, maybe the flyer costs you a few dollars, but big deal. Um, it's going to cost you a little bit of effort. You're going to have to lather, rinse, repeat. So don't just do this plan one week and expect to get results. This is just 20 minutes of work each day, Monday through Friday, and you're done. One and done. It is not a standalone spoke. It's remember everything we talked about is in support of your core business. But it's not going to work if you just dabble and do one or two posts and say, oh, it didn't work for me. That's right. Listen to, um, well, again, but be very clear. This stuff is an enhancement. It's not a replacement for proactive lead generation. Listen to part one that we did yesterday because we also gave you more drill down uh, systems using Hootsuite and whatnot to automate this and make this whole process easier for you. But guys, that is the extent of really all you really need to be doing on social networking. Nothing more than that. All it is designed to do is enhance. It, if you know, if you get an occasional lead or somebody that raises their hand and say yes, I'd like to talk to you. Um, uh, you know, please do a CMA on my house, and maybe I want to put it for sale. Well, good for you, but you can't be dependent on that. You have to be dependent and focused on being a proactive lead generator because you ha- you can actually control the output. The output is your skill set that then basically translates to your actual, essentially, your profit. So, guys, take this stuff seriously. Consider reading our book if you're looking for ultimate clarity on the direction you should be going in your real estate book, your real estate book, your real estate business. It's called Harris Rules. It's available everywhere. I don't even know if Barnes, I think Barnes and Nobles in Florida are open. I know it's there, yep. but everywhere else it's available in book short, bookstores everywhere. Um, and obviously on Amazon as well. And the Audible version is uh, also available. It's well over 400 five-star reviews. It's becoming one of the best-selling modern real estate books. So I really appreciate all your support with that. It's uh was a uh, colossal effort, mostly yes, on Julie Harris's part. <laughs> and uh, thank you for all your wonderful feedback on it. In the meantime, if you guys need us for anything, remember you can just uh, text me directly at 512-758-0206, 512-758-0206. In the meantime, you guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk with you on the show tomorrow. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.